this is me, Daniel Nitty Buttons, and we are here with a new book to review. This is Mosaic Art Vacations by Sachin Sachdeva. It is a pixel book, and it is my first one by him, and I'm super excited. I love pixel books, and I don't know why it's taken me this long to get one, but here we are. I saw this back cover, and I saw this image of these pineapples, and I was like, I need that, please. I'm very excited. I don't know if we're gonna be able to find the pineapples because it's a mystery what you're gonna get, but I'm excited to try. So this book is three by three millimeters, which is the same as the small squares in like the Belba series, if you have tried those. And looking on the inside cover, it looks like these two in his series, Inside Home and Sea Creatures are five by five millimeter squares and vintage cars and also Patterns are three by three. So these are much bigger squares compared to these. Both are great. The smaller the square, the more detail you can get because it's it's pixel art, so that makes sense. He has a 21 color palette and the colors are all listed on every single page. It is a pretty standard palette that, yeah. Um, I like to look at the back and compare what they actually want me to use and sometimes I just like to wing it and make my own choices. So I'm gonna go through as much as I can and then we're gonna speed color because obviously I can't really flip through specifically. So there are those pineapples again. I don't know, I could probably try to find them or I might just pick a random page. So let's see, here's a list of some of his other books. He has tons and tons at this point. So these aren't the only ones, but I know I have diamond mandalas and animal mandalas and they're both a lot of fun. Like, I guess this guy's gonna be in here somewhere. The belongs to page is fun. It's fun to kind of have a blank grid and you can do whatever you want on it. There's about the book, Mosaic Art Vacations, 25 illustrations, oh, over 25 illustrations of unique designs. They're designed with three by three millimeter section boxes, the 21 color palette, uh, illustrations to challenge you and keep you engaged for long hours. Uh oh, we're gonna see. I don't know if I'm, I'm gonna see if we can do real quick. So you can use the cross stitch method. I might use the dot method. That's what I think. That's one of my favorites and it should be fun with the tiny details of the book. So let's see. Yes, so as you can see on this side is our 21 color palette and on this side is just our grids. And what I will say is the numbers are very large in the box. It basically takes up the whole box, which is really nice because the boxes are so small that you wanna be able to see it as best you can. And it looks like there will be some horizontal ones and the palette is horizontal so you know and that's fun to be able to tell what the page is quicker when the when it's horizontal. And so I can sometimes tell what's going on because you can see the different numbers. So like single digit numbers are lighter looking because it doesn't take up the whole box, if that makes any sense. But I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to find those pineapples. Like I can kind of see an X here. Oh, but that's a vert uh, horizontal page anyway. So it is the same on every page. It gives you the full palette. I personally I do not mind that. I know a lot of people like it when it just gives you the colors you need. But with only 21 colors, I don't think it's a huge deal either way. So it looks like a good mix of vertical and horizontal. I'm just going to quick flip, see if there's anything sticking out to us. Ooh, I don't know what I want to color. So at the back, thank you for purchasing. I hope you and your family member enjoyed coloring these pages. And let's see, he's self-published and he likes feedback so I'm going to be reviewing this and if you especially from smaller artists and companies Amazon reviews are really really important to them so be sure to leave ratings when you can and he is on Instagram if you ever want to talk to him there and then he has some color chart sheets so you can say what type of pencil or pen or marker or whatever you're using and do the little swatch and maybe like write what number it is things like that there's one two Three, four, five, Woo -hoo. five sheets of that. And then there are two blank sheets in the back. What I recently realized, and I don't know if this is me, but if you ever forget a blotter page, you could totally just tear these out and use those as your blotter page. Perfect. And also you can use your color charts as your blotter pages. Or what I've done too recently is if you're going to go to like a Blick store, you could always cut your color chart out and bring it in as your tester in stores. So 
those are some things that I have learned. Now let's pick one. I don't know how to pick. You know what's going to happen. I'm going to get stuck with the bird. I think I do want to do a vertical one. I just think it will be easier to physically film right now. There's a cloud and a beach ball. I don't know what to pick. More clouds. You can see the clouds because they're blank. I don't know if you can see better or worse on camera. This one looks like it's going to be like Polaroids and I'm really intrigued. I don't know. I don't know what to pick. Um, um, I think that one looks like a mountain maybe. You're probably like your crazy girl. Just pick something. All right. Ready? My eyes are closed. Shh. This is the one we're doing. So I'm gonna go into speed color now and I'm gonna be using my shuttle arts and we'll see, we'll watch the magic happen. surfer girl looking cool so this took a little bit over an hour to do I want to say I watched like two episodes two and a half episodes of tv but it's Netflix so there's no commercials um I will admit I definitely went much faster knowing I was filming and I just obviously wanted to get this page done for you if I was doing this on my own without filming I probably would have gone one just slower in general but two split it up over multiple times this is the kind of page that I like to just have going and add in whenever I need a break from different types of pages uh, I think this book is going to have a ton of blue um and it's because it's a lot of happy, bright, vacation-y pictures. Of course, that's the whole theme. So there's a lot of <laughs> blue skies, blue water. I think Noodles says somebody's home. So I apologize for that. But we're at the very end. I want to keep going. Basically, I love it. I'm very excited to have this book. And I'm very excited to try more pages in here. And... I'm going to write my review ASAP and get another page done soon. I'm going to link it down below if you want to purchase one for yourself. It will be an Amazon affiliate link, but just being honest there. And thank you so, so much for watching. I'm sorry for the little doggy interruption. I'll see you again tomorrow with something different. Bye, guys.